guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Boy, do I have a video for you today. Guys, let me just say that I have had it with bugs. I have had it up to here with bugs. And I'm not talking about crickets or anything like that. I'm talking about bugs that creep their way into my enclosures and decide to just live amongst my pets in their tanks. This is like the second or third time I have had to deal with these little bitty flies. So it all started yesterday after an extremely exhausting, very long day. I had come home and I was hoping to just be able to relax, you know, have like an afternoon to just kind of catch up on some editing and chill out. But no, that's not what happened. Obviously before I can chill out and relax I wanted to obviously take care of all my animals and make sure that they were all fed and watered for the afternoon but no that is not what happened unfortunately as you guys can see by the title obviously so I came in here to check on lemon to give her some fresh food and water I was gonna feed her a few crickets you know just the normal routine I opened up her tank and of course what is in her tank bugs everywhere tiny little flies I don't know if they're gnats or fruit flies I'm assuming they're the same bugs that if you guys remember took over Koa's tank last year. I had a really big problem with him on his food from last year. Made a whole video about it. There were these little bitty flies everywhere. I was mortified. I hate bugs. I'm a very cleanly person in general, especially with my animals. So obviously, even though I was extremely tired and exhausted, I had a really long morning. I knew that I had to get these bugs out of my house as fast as possible. I had to clean out her tank. Don't worry, I filmed all of this for you. I apologize if I was in like a really bad mood through all these clips, but I was like extremely tired and I could not believe these friggin' bugs got back in my tank again. Luckily, they did not get in any of my other tanks, so don't worry about that. It was only lemon. I don't even know why. There is no food in lemon's tank whatsoever, ever at any given time. She only eats pretty much crickets and worms. Don't really know what they were in there for, but regardless, I knew that I had to get them out, so I'll just show you guys all the clips because obviously I filmed all of it. <laughs> I will just play the clips for y'all. Okay, so we have a really big problem. I just came in here to clean out Lemon's water for the night and to feed her some crickets and stuff. <sighs> Unfortunately, there appears to be little like flies all in there. They're the exact same flies that like literally they bombard Koa's tank at least twice a summer. I don't know if they're fruit flies or like little gnats or something. I have no idea, but the weather's been warmer, so I knew this was probably gonna happen. But what's really frustrating is that I just cleaned her tank like less than four weeks ago so all of the substrate is like brand new pretty much but as you can see there's a lot of humidity in here so I'm pretty sure that's what drew the flies in honestly because lemon's fine um, I just checked on her yesterday she's already changed spots so I know she's okay but the flies were not in there yesterday or the day before because I changed her water obviously so I have no idea what is going on but I've got to get her out of this tank because my OCD is kicking in and I just like have to do something thing. I have no idea where I'm gonna put her. Obviously, I wanted to put her in my extra exoterra, but I see my really fat cat sat on the top and it busted through because she's super heavy. Ugh. I don't know what I'm gonna do. So back to the bug tank. Um, I'm so freaking sick of these flies already. I know the summer is gonna suck. I guess the first thing I'm gonna do is take this outside before I take the lid off because I don't want any of these flies getting out in my pet room. Luckily, Koa's tank is not infested with anything. You guys know he's only been in this tank like maybe four days. So luckily, there's nothing in here and I really, really don't want this to get infested with the flies because that is a lot of money worth of bedding. So luckily, there's nothing in here and and he doesn't have his food yet tonight because it's feeding time so I was feeding everyone so I'm probably just gonna watch his tank super closely the next couple days to make sure that none got in here I don't see anything which is good okay so we've got to get this tank outside like really quick okay so here's the situation right now I don't know what I'm doing um, this is very like dire circumstances because I have nothing else to put lemon in also I'm sorry for whoever is cutting something on the saw my neighbor have been doing construction for like three months it's extremely upsetting anyway so here is um, the container that I'm gonna be putting lemon in this is actually lemons cricket container 
I dumped out all her crickets because I have nothing else to put her in that has a secure lid to keep her safe because she's so fat. I don't have any Tupperware big enough. This is such a disaster. Anyway, luckily I have some clean Eco Earth here. Thank goodness I had a half of a bag left over um, from doing Koa's new tank, so I'm pretty happy about that. So I'm gonna be putting some moist Eco Earth in here with some dechlorinated water, and then I'm just gonna plop lemon in here, um, and I'm gonna make sure to rinse her off really well first because obviously I don't want any flies to be getting in the house and then I'm gonna have to just scrub this tank down and clean it completely I honestly don't know how this happened but regardless I've got to get it cleaned or otherwise I'm gonna go insane so we are gonna go on and do that now can you guys see the flies moving oh my gosh why why is this happening why is he still cutting that wood okay so here's lemon's quarantine tank I've got deep eco earth some dechlorinated water in here and mix it up really well there's lemon. I'm so sorry, baby. I'm so sorry. Here, I'm going to rinse you off really, really good before we put you back in here. Okay? Just bear with me. Don't leave. Okay, now we can put her into her quarantine tank over here. Obviously, after I had lemon into her quarantine tank, I really needed to clean out the aquarium like really good with like a hose pipe and spray it out and everything. But unfortunately, my husband had put a new nozzle on the faucet outside and he had turned it extremely hard so that it wouldn't leak during the winter time. He's good like that. But I am very weak and I could not turn it over. I tried to turn that hose pipe on for like 10 minutes. My hand was getting bruised. I was over it. So that's why I had to wait for him to get home to help me clean out her tank the rest of the way. And now I'll show you that. Okay, so Lemon is in the quarantine tank and the Eco Earth is really moist, so she should be okay in here. Unfortunately, it turns out that my husband has the spigot like turned over really, really hard and I cannot turn it on. Baby, I'm so sorry. This is like the biggest disaster ever and daddy's not home to help. Yeah, you just dig down, boo. This is such a freaking disaster. Look at this mess I've made. You guys are witnessing like a legit mess, like right now. This is what happens whenever you get bugged. Okay, so we finally made it back inside. I'm gonna have to just empty this out and spray it down and sanitize it really, really well. Thank goodness you're home to save the day. Do you see how hard that is? You the best, honey. Thank you. He's so sweet. <laughs> Ask them if he dumped the flies and crap out. <laughs> we gotta rinse these off too, really good. What a disaster. Okay, so thanks to Patrick, the tank is finally cleaned out and it is completely sanitized with warm, clean water and then completely hand dried. Luckily, we can go on and put the new Eco Earth in here. I only have a half a bag. I'm praying that it's enough, at least until I can get some more from the store for her. And then I have obviously the clean Eco Earth that I have in her container too. So I'm gonna go on and put that in there and then set it up for her. We're mixing the clean Eco Earth with some dechlorinated water to get it really moist for her. So I scrubbed her water dish completely. This is a rock dish, so it's really porous, so it's like stained from the Eco Earth coloring. But I'm hoping that I got it clean enough with really hot water, and I scrubbed it with a sponge, so I'm hoping that it's like clean enough. Now I'm going to be picking her up with my hand, which is covered in wet Eco Earth, because I don't have gloves, and I have to get her back in her tank. So this just is what it is. But normally, do not touch your Pac-Man frog unless this is absolutely necessary. And today is absolutely necessary because she was infested with bugs. Come here, baby. Don't you get my hand. Look, she turns. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at her turning. Come here. Okay, we'll turn you this way. You want to be smart? We'll turn you this way. Okay, got her. All right, there you go. This is a prime example of why it is so important to check on your pets every single day. Even if it's a pet that you feed every other day or every third day, always check their enclosures because I checked on her yesterday and I didn't see any bugs. So I'm really glad that I went to feed her and clean her water today and I noticed those bugs. Otherwise, who knows how many there would have been tomorrow and then it would have been really bad. 
Okay, so the last step to all of this is now that Lemon is back in her tank, the new crickets can finally go into their proper tank. So we're gonna set this up really quick. Luckily, this is gonna be a lot easier than getting Lemon in her tank. So first thing we're gonna do is put some paper towel in there and then I have some sliced potato here which is gonna be their food. So we're just gonna put down a piece of paper towel. I usually just do one or two. They like to hide under the paper towel whenever I go to get them out. So I think I'm just gonna put one in there for now. Then we're gonna put in a couple slices of potato. This hydrates them. And then I'm also gonna put some little cubes of the Fluker's food, but that's in the pet room. So I'll put that in there whenever I take them in there for the night. Then we just take and we dump the crickets in there. And that's pretty much it. So now Lemon's tank is all clean. There are no bugs. I checked it first thing this morning. Everything is back to normal. Everything is okay. I'm sure this will not be the last time that this happens, but I'm telling you, if those bugs get in Koa's new 75 gallon tank, I'm gonna scream because there is so much bedding in there and it's all brand new and I just bought it. It's like four bags. I don't think I can handle that right now. So I'm like, fingers crossed, I've got jars of vinegar sitting all around this room underneath the tanks, hoping that there is no more flies and if there are, those little traps will catch them. Oh, I was so over it yesterday. But luckily, all the bugs are gone. Hopefully, they will not be back. But that is pretty much this video. That's pretty much everything that happened. If you guys enjoy this awful bug story, feel free to subscribe down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. I will see you guys in my next video. Be kind, bye.